This locomotive has my favorite sounds in it, <laughs> as far as the steam sounds. It sounds the coolest when it idles. Anyway, I'm looking for... Where is that train? Hmm. Is that up here? Is it under CNJ? Okay, here we go. I'm going to test this blue Comet locomotive that I purchased recently on this Delaware River route. All I have to do is go to these these um, drivers, change that one to this one. Okay. This is the first painted steam locomotive I've ever seen. <laughs> Except for the GS2, I think it's called, from the Southern Pacific Railroad. For some reason, railroads tend to leave their steam locomotives unpainted. I can imagine that painting a steam locomotive is hard, though. It's not as smooth as painting a passenger car. Anyway. Oh, that's the wrong button. Control F2. Oh yeah, that reminds me. In the last video I made about Classic Cavern City, I had a problem where the switches wouldn't change, uh, I couldn't move them manually, but as it turns out, if you drive toward the switches, they change automatically for you. But I don't think they do that for AI trains, and that's the problem I have. That might, that might create a problem in the future. Oh, it has that bell. <laughs> anyway. I wish you could control how hard you blew the whistle on this game. Like, how about having it so that you held the shift button while pressing the horn. It blew the horn lightly, but if you pressed the, just the horn button, it would blow it, like, all the way. I hate how you can't... I hate how you have no control over how hard the horn blows on this game. In fact, I don't think any train simulator lets you control that. Would be nice if they did, though. I gotta be. Sooner or later, I'll add scenery to this route. How come you can only hear one car go over the switch?
he doing? Well, this is the first time I had this problem. Now he's going he's going the wrong way. Where is he going? I don't know where he intends to go. Well, while I'm sorting this out, let's see what it looks like inside the passenger cars. I hear they have interiors. Wow. Wow, that's cool. Ooh, I can go to different parts of the car. Okay. Looks like he's going the right way now. When I finish with this route, obviously, it's going to actually look like the train is disappearing into the trees. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like inside these cars. Starting with the locomotive. Well, it looks like any other steam locomotive, I guess. I used to know what most of these levers did, but now I don't remember. Wow, the, even the baggage car has an interior. Not sure why I want to go inside the baggage car though. <laughs> wow. This is one of the passenger cars. Ooh, I can stick my head out the window. There's no track beyond this point. If he doesn't stop, he's gonna derail. Okay, good, he stopped. Huh. Wow. Okay, with this one you can stick your head out the window too. What about this one? This I think this is the same car as the last one. What's this? I think this one. Yeah, this one looks the same. Yeah, you can stick your head out the window or right inside the one of the seats. Let's see. Wow, this is the dining car. Wow, cool. I can actually sit inside one of the chairs. Where am I going? Wow, I can go inside the kitchen too? Wow. That is cool. 
Mm-hmm. I can I can stand up in the middle of the car or I can sit down at one of the chairs or go into the kitchen. And this is the observation car. Wow.